In this video, I'll show you how you can create a blog website on Wix. So even though you don't have any experience, I'm going to show you step by step how you can do this so that after watching this video, you can actually start your own blog website using Wix. So this is a step by step Wix blog tutorial that's going to show you step by step from beginning to finish how you can create your own blog in 2020. Before we get into that, make sure you go ahead and leave a like on the video and let me know in the comments down below what kind of blog you want to create. And let's just dive into my PC and then we're going to find out how we can create a blog in 2020 on Wix. Okay, so here we are on my PC. I'm already on Wix. If you're not on Wix already, make sure you go ahead and go to the Wix website and then sign in or sign up for an account. Now, once you're here, all you need to do is click on create new site right there. Once you do that, they're going to ask you what kind of website you want to create. So you're going to find all of these options such as business, online store, um, music, designer, and then right there in the top right corner, you'll also find blog. So you can go with blog right there, although that's not necessary. You can also choose any of these other ones, and then you can also turn that into a blog. Basically how this works is that whatever kind of topic you choose, they're going to base the templates on that. So if you choose fitness, they're going to give you and show you templates that are based on other fitness websites. But for now, I'll just go with blog and I recommend you do that as well. Next up, we've actually got a very important decision to make. So we can let the Wix ADI system create a website for us, or we have to create our own website with the Wix editor. So if you're just starting out and you just want a random website, I always recommend choosing the Wix ADI, especially if you're a beginner. However, for making a blog, I highly recommend you go with the create your website with the Wix editor. And that's what we're going to do in this video as well. So I'm going to click on choose a template and I recommend you do that as well. Okay, so once you do that, you can actually start choosing a template. So if I just scroll down, you can see that they have tons of templates available. This is just page one. You can actually browse through all of these pages. I'm not sure how many they have, at least five. But you can also filter this. So you can go with all blog templates. You can go with personal blog templates, food and travel blogs, news and business, arts, fashion and beauty, sports and wellness, and podcasts as well. So what I recommend doing is just clicking on all, even though you might be in one of these niches, if you just scroll down, you'll find all of the templates that you can start using. So basically what you need to do now is just browse through these pages, find a template that you like, that you want to use, and then select that template. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to scroll down. Let's find out if I find a template that I would like to use, and then I'll go with that one. Okay, so right there I found this keto diet blog, so I'm going to click on this one. Um, if you hover over these, you can actually click on edit right there, and you can then start editing your blog. So right now I'm going to get sent into the Wix editor, and once you're there, you can actually start editing your blog. And there we are inside the Wix editor. So once you go into that, this is what it looks like. So this is basically where you can start customizing your entire website and blog. So what I can do right now, I can scroll down and show you what this template looks like. So this is a keto diet blog and I'm going to start customizing this so that I can show you guys how that works as well. So this is what it looks like as of right now and I'm going to show you how you can customize your template. So first of all, you can start off by changing the header image and you can actually change all of the images on your template, which is quite easy to do. All you need to do is click on it and then right there it will say change strip background. If you click on that, you can change it to a color. So if you would like to just have one color as a background, you can do that as well. Um, if you don't want to do that, you can go with images or videos. So if you want to upload a video as your uh, header, you can actually click video right there and you can then cho uh, choose a video from your PC or from Wix or Shutterstock. But for the ones from Shutterstock, you actually need to pay. So I just recommend going with media from Wix or going to a free stock website such as Pixabay or Unsplash or Pexels. But for now, I'm going to go with an image as my background. So I'm going to click on image and what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go to a website called Pexels. 
I then search for a keto diet. So this is where you can type in your topic that your blog is about, and you can then use all of these pictures for free. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and find a good picture that I could use as my header. All right, so I downloaded this picture right here. I can then go to the Wix editor, click on upload media, and I can then upload from my computer. So you can also upload images from your PC that you can then use on your blog. So I'm gonna open this image and we'll see what that actually looks like. So once you do that, it's gonna upload. And as you can see right there, it's still processing. Now once it's done processing, you can click on change background right there. You can also choose to crop and edit the image or adjust it and you can even cut out the background. So for now, I'll just go with change background and I'll see what that looks like. And there it is. So this actually looks pretty cool in my opinion. I'm not sure what you guys think, but this is pretty decent to start off with my blog. So that's how you can change the background image and you can also do the exact same process for all of these images right here. You simply click on it, you then click change image and you can then customize that image right there. Now, what if I want to edit the text? So it works kind of the same as changing an image. All you need to do is click on the text and then right there you can find edit text. So what I like to do right now is change the font size right there, I'm gonna make that a bit smaller. And I'm also gonna change the color since the white uh, like letters don't really fit into the background. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna scroll down, let's see color right there and I'm gonna make this black. All right, so I've just customized the text. I know this is not the best looking header. However, I just wanna show you guys the process of editing text. It's not about making the best blog in this video. So that's how you can edit text on your website. And once again, you can also do that with all of the other text in your template. Simply click on it and you can then click on settings and you can then start customizing it or if it's just a normal text, you can then click on that and then click on edit text. If you want to get rid of an entire section on your website, you can select it and you can then basically hit backspace on your keyboard and you can see that it will actually um, be deleted. So you can also do that with the text just like this and that's how you can actually get rid of an entire section on your website. Okay, so that's how you can edit and customize the background images and the text. But let's find out how you can actually add pages and how you can actually add side menus as well. So if you click right there in the top left corner, you can see side menu. So right here, you can find all of the different sections on your website and they will actually show up right here on your side menu. Now let's say that you don't want lifestyle to show up in your side menu. You can actually click on that menu right there, click on the three dots and you can then hide it right there. You can also delete it if you just want it to be gone on your website, on your blog, but you can also click on hide and it won't show up on your side menu. Now these are clickable, so if people are on your blog and they click on what is keto, you can actually send them over to a different page where you can explain what keto diet is about. Now this is also where you can add a page. So if you click right there, add page at the bottom, you can actually start adding your own page or section. So right there, you can then give that a name, click on done, and you've then just created that new page, which will then show up on your site menu as well. Okay, so before I show you how you can actually write your first blog post and where you can add those posts, I wanna show you how you can edit text, images, buttons, and basically anything onto your website. So for that, you wanna click on the plus icon right there, which stands for add, and then right here, you can actually add text, you can add images, you can add boxes, strips, um, you can add menus, you can add social media accounts, you can embed HTML frames. So basically, if you want to add anything to your website, this is where you need to go. So once again, click on add right there. You can then also use the search function. So let's say that you want to add music to your website. You then type in music and then right there, they're gonna show you the available options that you can use to then add music to your website. All you would need to do is click on that then select it in here and you can then add that to your website basically wherever you want to place that and wherever you want to use it. The music widget will then show up. You can then make that smaller if you want to, but that's up to you guys. And you can then place that wherever you want on your website. Maybe you would like to use it right there. I know this is not a good place, but it's just to show you how that actually works.
And you can do that with anything. So if you would like to add text, you click on text right there. You click on a heading or on a title. You click on it and you will then be able to customize that and add this onto your website. You're also able to add different apps to your Wix website. Now these apps can actually help you out edit your website or add things that you want to add. Basically, if you go on here, you can actually find all of these apps. It's kind of like the same as the Shopify app store. And this is where you can find apps that are gonna help you to improve your blog and improve your performance as well. So if you go on here, you can actually click search. For example, you can choose um, events right there if you want to add events to your blog. And then right there, you can download Wix events, the events calendar, the event viewer. So this is where you can add apps to your website so that you can make it easier for the customer to find out when you're um, hosting events or when they can actually go to an event. And this is also easy for you so that you can actually add those events to your own blog. I'll leave all of that up to you guys. It comes down to how you want to create your own blog. But for now, I'll show you how you can actually start writing your blog posts. So you wanna click right there on my blog and you can then go into the blog manager. So right there, you can click on create a post or you can manage posts. So if you've already written like a couple of posts on your blog, you can click right there on manage and you can then find all of your blog posts. However, as this, as this is a new blog, I'm gonna click on create a post right there. And this is where you can actually start writing your own blog posts, okay? So it's quite easy to do. Basically, all you need to do is go in here and then right there, you can already start. So add a catchy title. So I'll just go, with, this is my first blog post. And then right there, you would basically start writing your content. So the keto diet and then blah, blah, blah. It just basically comes down to creating and typing your content right here. I'll just go with some random stuff for now so that there's content in there. And yeah, that's it. Okay, so this doesn't make sense. Don't pay attention to that. Um, it's just to show you how it works. Now you can then also add an image to that blog post. You can click right there. Then once again, it's gonna be the same as changing your background. You can change one of the images that you already have on your blog post. I mean on your blog website, or you can upload media. You can go to media from Wix or Unsplash or Shutterstock as well. So for example, let's say that I wanna search for diet. Let's see if they have some quality pictures available. They actually do. If I click right there and then add to page, I can actually add this onto my blog post. You can then make that smaller if you want to. So that's how you can add photos to your blog post. You can also add a gallery. You can add a video. You can add a divider. You can add HTML code, GIFs. So you can basically add anything onto your blog on here. So this is where you would write down your content. Now, once you're done doing that, you can go into the settings of this post. You can then use a display cover image. I recommend doing that. It makes it more visual and it will probably give you more clicks and it will improve the um, reader's experience, which is cool. Right there, you can change the publish date. You can change the offer if you want to. And right there, you can write a small description. You can also change the SEO. So the search engine optimization, you can then right there, change the title that's gonna show up in Google. You can then also change the URL of this post. And once you're done all of it, doing all of that, you can put this into a category. For example, you can add this to what is keto. If you do that, people will be able to click on your side menu, right? Because if they click on what is keto, this blog will then also show up, which is great if people wanna find out about the keto diet. So for example, if you just wrote a blog explaining the keto diet, you can then add that right here, which is great. If people then click on that on your side menu or on a backlink, you will then send them over to this blog post. Now, once you're done doing all of this, you can click on publish right there. So you can, you can also save this as a draft. You can schedule this post or you can just publish it right away. And there you go. To see your post live, first publish your site. Okay, so because I haven't, I just created this site because I haven't published my entire site yet. I'm not able to publish this live, so it's not on the internet right away. So what you need to do for that is make sure to, pub to publish your site. To do that, you can click on publish in the top right corner, and this is where you can actually publish your account. So if you're going with the free trial, you can use the free domain from Wix. However, that doesn't look professional. So if you really want to like create a professional blog and you wanna take this seriously, then I highly recommend getting a custom domain. So click on done right there, and you can then basically set this up. So 
you can click on edit mobile site if you want to to make sure that the mobile experience is as good as the experience on your desktop um, but yeah click on publish right there and you can then go live with your website once you've published your website you can go back on here basically go to your dashboard and then right there you can click on connect a domain or you can change your Wix plan so that you can also connect a domain and you can even get a domain for free for the first year. So this is where you can choose a paid plan on Wix. Um, it's up to you whether you want to do that or not. Um, I'll leave that up to you guys. But, but yeah, that's pretty much how you can create your own blog website on Wix. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comment section down below and I'll try and reply to all of you. And please consider leaving a like on the video. That would help me out so much. YouTube will show it to more people. So I would appreciate that. Let's help out more people. And then I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.